Hey guys, what's up? Shin055 here, back with another drawing video. It's Sunday, so we're making another drawing video. Today's video is going to be on Saitama from uh, the anime One Punch Man. Super good anime, I actually watched that one. Uh, it's real good. So, uh, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. But, um, this video was requested by Quadri Evan Johnson. Thank you so much for the request. I hope you, uh can draw Saitama by the end of this, and, um, yeah, this one isn't actually too hard. It shouldn't be, uh, too bad. So, um, anyway, guys, get your pencils ready, and, um, let's jump in. Alright, guys, so, uh, let's get started. So, basically, Saitama is actually pretty fairly decent to draw. Uh, not too hard, but what you're going to want to start out with is to draw a nice light circle. Make it a good size. This is going to be his head. So, um, keep that in mind. And once we got the circle down, we can draw in the crosshairs. So, there'd be something like this. So, a nice curve line going down here. About a little bit lower than the middle of the circle, we're going to have the eye line. Like that. And then it's going to curve down. And we're going to get like a little bit of a head shape here. And it's going to curve up. And in. And we're just going to extend the top of this out a little bit more. And again, keep it very light. This is just a gesture. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy yet. So we got a pretty good head shape right there. And then um, once we've got the head shape down, we can kind of draw on the neck. So the neck would be... Kind of about here, kind of make it like a cylinder. Like that. And then his shoulder would be about here. Then his arm's going to go down. And he's going to have a big fist about here. So we can just kind of gesture in kind of like a nice circle type shape like that. And then he's going to have like a chest about here. Kind of curve down a little bit. His arm will be about here. The other arm will be about here, like this. And he's going to have uh, like his cape kind of flowing in the wind. It kind of be like this big shape like this. And then another little, um, little thing right there. So it's pretty much good for the gesture that we need. Um, again, we kind of mark down every place where we're going to put... Um, some details and we kind of have a good idea of where everything's going to be. So now we'll just jump into his head. So um, his head's a little tough mainly because he's bald. Um, usually when you draw hair you can kind of hide it but you got to keep um, keep the shape of the head um, very good and very round. So basically what we're going to do is I like starting off with the eyes. So we're going to draw kind of like an oval right here for one eye. Kind of an oval right here for another eye, just to kind of place them. And just a tip, eyes are usually one eye apart, so like, you get the, like, you make the length of this eye, like the size, and you just measure, like, another eye in between, and then at the end point, you start the other eye. Just a little pro tip, just, just keeping your eyes not too far apart, not too close together. Of course, that changes based on, like, the angle of the head and stuff. But, um, yeah, no, we're good. So we got uh, kind of a gesture mark for his eyes, and once we have that in, we can kind of draw in his head shape, which I'll draw that in now. So about here, there's going to be like a slight curve inwards, like this where the eye is. And actually before we do that, we can draw in the ear. So the ear will kind of follow the eye line right here, and at the very top of it, that's usually where the ear starts. And the ear for Saitama is just this nice little curve line that goes down and curves in like this. And then for ear, ear details, you can start a line about here, kind of hug this ear shape, dip it in a little bit, out, over, kind of get a little curve line right here, and get another little curve. Again, and this doesn't have to be exact, there's no exact way to make this look right, it's just kind of like, just putting as many lines as you feel is right. So now that we got the ear down, we can kind of draw on the rest of the head. So from this little indent, again, it's super slight, but where the eye is, it kind of goes in just slightly. And then it's going to curve up and around. And this is where you want to really keep the round, like, shape of the head. Because, again, since he's bald, there's, uh, there's no hair to kind of cover it up. So it would be a nice, big, round shape like that. 
And then for uh, his jaw, it just kind of go down. We're going to kind of follow this pretty closely, actually. Just curve down, kind of straighten out about here. And then go flat. And then here I'll turn up, kind of curve in, and then go up about there. Like that. So now we've got the head shape in. Uh, now we can draw on the eyes. Uh, basically for the eyes, I like starting off with the eyebrows. Well, I like starting off with the, this little circle, but when we start drawing the eye, we'll start off with the eyebrows. And it's basically this little line going down, this line going over, and then up like this. And now you're going to get a very thin line, so a line very close to this one, like hugging it parallel. And then it'll just connect in to the end there like that. You want to keep it very close, very thin. And then same thing with this eye, you kind of get a line going down, a line going up, and over like that. And then another thin line hugging it, like that. And then, um, then we could draw in his actual eyes. So we're going to start about here and just draw kind of like a curve line like this. So it goes down, it kind of gets into a point here, curves down and then over like this. And extend a little bit past the eyebrow too. And what you could do is you could actually thicken in this line here and here. Like that. And then same thing on this side, we'll start about here, just draw kind of like a straight line going across like that. Kind of curve it down and over, and then you just kind of thicken in it, thicken it in. That's hard to say. Right there. And then for his eyes, they're pretty simple. They're just a uh, nice little uh, kind of half circles right here. So you get one, and you get a second one right there. And if you want, you can do a little light reflection and then shade that in as well. And then same thing on this side. A little light reflection. It's a nice little curve line, and then you just shade it in like that. And once we got that down, we can draw in a nice little curve line right here for the nose. So the nose is kind of weird. We get a little curve line, and then you're going to get a break in it. And then you just get the bottom of the nose right here, which is kind of like this little U. So you get a nice little line here, and then a nice break, and then about here, we're going to get a nice little U. And then for his mouth, you get a straight line going across, and then angle it down, like that. So that's pretty much it for uh, Saitama's uh, head here. And now we could zoom out just a tad. And then uh, kind of draw on a line for his neck here, kind of like that. Don't make it too, well you make this one a little dark. So a line going down, and then curve in like this. But um, what we're going to do is actually draw in um, his cape here. And uh, how we do that, we're going to start about here before his neck. And then just draw a nice big kind of curve line. So you get like a nice hook. And it's going to go down and in like this. And then we could draw on the rest of the neck like that. I'll have a nice little curve line here for like neck muscle right there. And then um, once we have that curve line in, what we could do is draw kind of like this other, very similar to this shape right here. A nice little hook here. And it's going to go over and down like that. And now in this hook, we can draw a nice um, kind of oval like this. He has like a button that like connects it to his shirt. That's what this is. And then here, what we could do is kind of make this line go out a little bit. Kind of go down, kind of give a little bit of a curve. And then curve it up and kind of around the shoulder here like that. So that's good for like the start of the cape. We could start uh, doing some of the middle detail right here. So we're going to start about here and just draw a nice curve line hugging this one. Curve it in like that. And then that line that kind of dips in and curves out like this. Kind of, I'm going to extend this one out a little bit more. A nice little curve line right here too. Draw another one like that. And again, we're only drawing like folds in like the fabric, so it's like ca his cape is like flapping in the wind. So uh, we can draw another little curve line right here. Draw kind of like a line hugging it like that. Then another one going out, and then probably like one more kind of going out here like this. 
Again, it doesn't have to be exact, just kind of looks like a flowy cape. Like that. And then here we're going to get kind of like the same shape. We're going to get like a hook. It's going to go over and in like this. And then we're going to get uh, the oval for the button right there. And then here it's going to extend out, kind of curve over. Go out and in like that. Get a nice little curve line right there too. So again, we get kind of like the cape shape. And now that we got that down, we could actually jump into the hand before we jump into the body because the hand's kind of like in front of everything. So for the hand, I'm actually going to move it over just, just slightly. So um, a good gesture for the hand is you draw kind of like a curve line like this. Kind of straighten out. So you get kind of like almost like a really rounded kind of box type shape. So we got that. And now, um, I'll zoom out just a tad. And now um, what I like to do is I like to draw uh, four circles for like the knuckles. So we're going to get a knuckle here. And the trick to drawing like the knuckles is you want to draw them on an arc. So like you want to have them on like a nice kind of arc going around where like the middle finger is the highest point of the arc. Because uh, like a common problem is when people like first draw fingers, they kind of like draw them on like a straight line. So they keep it like straight and then make each finger go up. That's not right. You want to kind of keep it on an arc. So we're going to keep it on an arc about here. I'm actually going to lower it a little bit. Because the angle of this fist, it's actually going to kind of like go out. So you're going to get kind of like these ovals kind of going out for the fingers right here. So there's going to be like a little bit of depth to it. Like that. And then you're going to get an oval like right here for the thumb. So that's pretty much good for the gesture. So let's go into detail here. So basically what we're going to do is start about here and draw a nice little curve line. That kind of curves out, goes in, kind of over, and then in like this. And then um, about here, we're going to start kind of on the inside here like this, draw a nice little curve line that goes up, kind of straightens out over here, and then goes in and kind of dips out slightly near the end. And you want to kind of keep it kind of straight and kind of boxy almost. And then same thing over here where we're just going to start about here. Draw a line going across, down and over like this. And then we're going to do the same thing but slightly lower here. We're drawing a line going across, down and over like that. And then the last one is just kind of curve down, over, kind of go in, just slightly, and then it's going to kind of round off, so it's going to pop out just slightly over here, and then curve in. Actually, this line can be a lower, too. Like that. This gives you a nice, like, fish shape. I'll actually kind of erase some of the uh, guidelines here, just to make it a little bit clearer. So you should get a shape that looks something like this. And then what you want to do is you want to draw on the knuckles. So we're going to get like a nice little curve line here that goes, or yeah, it goes down and then curves in like that. And you get a nice little line here. And then you basically just draw the same thing for the rest of them. Just line going down over a little curve line up there. And then same thing down here. Like that. You could extend these lines out a little bit more if you want. Something like that. And then uh, just for the rest of it, here you get like a series of kind of like little hooks. So you get like a hook here. So you get one, kind of like a second one there too. Don't keep them on uh, the same size. Kind of make one shorter, one longer. And then it's just going to pop out and kind of go down like that. Very similar here. You're going to go down, over, kind of get, get another little one. Make this one a longer one like that. And that's going to curve down and round off about here, like that. And then here, actually I should curve this in a little bit more. And then here, just uh, the last detail for the glove is there's a line going down the middle, or on the side. So you draw like a nice curve line here. And then uh, here's a tip when you're going like drawing like a line over folds. Uh, to make it look like it's going over like a fold and like fabric and stuff, offset it when you get to um, one of the folds. So we get a curve line going down here. 
I'm going to offset it about here. So I'm not starting like from the end of this line and curving down. I'm actually going to go in a little bit over. And then offset it one more time when we go over this one. And it actually gives like the illusion that like it's going over like the folds and stuff. So that's just a little pro tip. So now we got that down, we can draw on the shoulder. So the shoulder here is going to be like this nice big curve line like this. And then uh, we'll get another little curve line about here too. And then we're going to get the bicep, which is going to just simply be a curve line right here. It just curves down and in like that. Get a nice little line here. Show the muscle. And then off this line, we're going to just dip out a little bit. Kind of go in. And it, it, since we're at the end of the paper, we don't kind of draw on the uh, elbow here. And draw a nice little curve line right here too. Like that. And then uh, once that's down, we can draw on his back, which his back will be slightly behind the shoulder here. And it's just a curve line going down, kind of dipping in. And if you want to, you can kind of put like a couple little folds on the bottom here for his shirt. Like that. And then just to finish it off, uh, we could draw in the like front part of our shirt, which is just a nice little curve line right here. And then um, there's like another curve line that you can just kind of gesture in, but then it goes down and then over. And it kind of makes like a like a T almost, like if you think of it as like a capital T. Kind of get that shape. And then just to finish it off, we can draw in. He has like um like a zipper right here. So to draw the zipper in, you draw a nice, um, almost like a, like a box. So you get like a line going across and two down. But then um, you angle it in like this. So you get kind of like, I don't even know what the shape is, like an upside down house almost. I'll zoom in so you can see it better. And then on the edges here, you're going to draw a line going down from these three corners. And a line going up and up, connecting it to give it a little bit of depth. And then um, we're going to get another kind of rectangle right here. And again, we're going to get a little bit of depth by drawing a line going down from the corners and over. And I'll erase this part just to uh, make it a little bit clearer. Like that. And then um, we're going to get two uh, curve lines. So we're going to get one here. Kind of rounds off, and then another one kind of hugging it. Like that, and there's uh, there's his little uh, zipper. And that is uh, pretty much it for drawing Saitama. Um, yeah, he's not, honestly, he's not too hard. Uh, again, it's hard getting his head shape right, just because, like, it's so round. Uh, very similar to, like, Amy Rose. If Like, characters that have, like, really round heads, you really have to get that, like, roundness. Or it looks, like, completely off. So, um, there's the sketch we just did. I will throw this up on the wall if I could separate it from other papers. There we go. There we go. So I'll leave that up on the wall here. I'll take the inked version, put that on the wall as well. So um, anyway, guys, that's pretty much how you draw Saitama from uh, One Punch Man. Uh, again, not too hard. I'd say he's, he's middle difficulty. He's normal mode if this was a video game. Uh, he's not hard mode, not easy mode, but, but a solid normal. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, thank you, Evan Johnson, for uh, the request. And if you guys have requests, I do take them. All you need to do is leave what you want me to draw in the comment section below. I'll take your name and what you requested, and then on uh, Sunday when I make a drawing video, I just randomly uh, pick one off the list that day. There's no rhyme or reason. So, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in some other video. All right. Okay, thanks. Bye. Later.